This book is a special request from Vincent. He likes his monsters. This one is called When a Monster is Born. When a monster is born. It's a little baby monster. Jake is on the lookout. He's getting some packages in the mail today. I think he knows. What do you think, Jake? You say hi to the kids? No? Well, okay. I'll just read the book. There are two possibilities. Either it's a far away in the forest monster or it's an under your bed monster hmm if it's a far away in the forests monster that's that but if it's an under your bed monster, there are two possibilities. Either it eats you or you make friends and take it to school. <laughs> hmm, I don't think I've ever had a monster under my bed. If it eats you, that's that. But if you take it to school, there are two possibilities. There's a lot of possibilities in this story. Either it sits quietly, does its homework, and becomes the first monster to, pay, to play for the school basketball team, or it eats the principal. Wow. The principal is the person that's in charge of the school. If it sits quietly, that's that. But if it eats the principal, there are two possibilities. Either it growls, yummy, and dances, boogie woogie, or it growls, sorry, and walks off through the wall. This is an interesting story. If it dances boogie woogie, that's that. But if it walks off, there are two possibilities. Either it sits in the park and scratches its head, or... It takes a deep breath and sets off for the faraway forest. <laughs> if it sits in the park, that's that. But if it sets off for the faraway forest, there are two possibilities. Either it finds an expensive hotel on the way and decides to sleep in it, or it goes back around the back of the hotel, finds a broken umbrella, and decides to sleep under that. I would choose sleeping in the expensive hotel. I wouldn't want to sleep outside under a broken umbrella. If it sleeps in the expensive hotel, that's that. But if it sleeps under the umbrella, there are two possibilities. Either a kitchen girl comes out and tips a saucepan of porridge over the monster's head. <laughs> this story's getting sillier and sillier with every page. Or... The kitchen girl notices the monster and stops in her tracks.
if the kitchen girl tips porridge over the monster's head, that's that. But if the kitchen girl stops in her tracks, there are two possibilities. <laughs> Either the monster gives her the fright of her life, roar, and she runs off shouting, help, 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 or the monster gives her a rose and they fall in love. <laughs> if the girl runs off shouting, help, 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 that's that. But if they fall in love, there are two possibilities. Either she kisses the monster and it turns into a handsome young man, or it kisses her and she turns into a monster. Huh, which do you think is gonna happen? If the monster turns into a handsome young man, that's that. But if the girl turns into a monster, there are two possibilities. Either the monster says, Egg. You look horrible now. Or the monster says, Look, I'm a monster. You're a monster. Let's get married. <laughs> if the monster says, Err, that's that. But if the monster says, let's get married, there are two possibilities. Either the two of them live happily together and have a baby monster, or they eat each other. Oh my goodness. This is kind of a silly monster story. What do you think should happen? I don't think they should eat each other because then there would be no more story. I think they should have a baby monster. If they eat each other, that's that. But if they have a baby monster, there are two possibilities. Either it's a far away in the forest monster or it's an under-your-bed monster. There's your baby monster. He's kind of cute. Yeah, it's really a silly story.